Hi, so let's create the production version. Uh, since S4HANA to run MLP, uh, the production version is required. So uh, after we create the material master, so what we have to do is uh, first you create a bit of material bombs. Of course, you have to have a work center to create a routing, and then you can assign these two to the production version. For the cost estimate, but uh, my recommendation is you learn these functionalities like a mixing ratio, because when you do the when you create the production version, you assign these routings or a bill of materials. But that leads to another possibility, you create another set of a production version to control this production version in costing side. Uh, this functionality is used. Let's check the screen and uh, So these are the materials I have created. And the production versions, since uh, we are thinking these two, the fi finished product and the semi-finished product, is the in-house manufacturing. So we want to create the production version for this in-house manufacturing product. For that, uh, I want to show what's the status. F4, F2. And the production version, if it is created, I think it is uh, MLP4. Usually you have uh, some indication here, budget version indicator. In fact, you can create a production version here, cl clicking here. But I'm gonna show another transaction. Also, there's uh, one uh, display, uh, one indicator that shows production version in costing one. The same t same functionality. This is uh, A01. Once this is created, there will be a tick. This is the finished products and the same uh, finished product. MLP4. There's a production version here. Costing 1, 2. It's not created, so we're gonna create the production version. The production version is in. Uh, of course, I know the transaction, but I'm showing the menu pass. Bills, bills of material or routing, work center or routing are here. And C223 is what we are going to create. So what do we have to do? Um, hmm. it's wrong too. Uh, this and what size uh, 
and still an yellow yellow signal yellow light and uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to create the uh, assign uh, uh, I'm gonna double click on it this isn't good it's not about uh, 1000 it should be one the task li task list the uh, routing so we need to specify the routing here and we don't know the number how do we check the routing number good point and i i only know this way this is the routing number Semi finished bits, yes. And uh, routing is N number counter. What is counter? In the real pr environment, you have these numbers counting up like forever, so that's why. SAP wants to create the production version for any product that is making um, much more uh, cumbersome for uh, beginners to learn. Alternative bomb. Right, we need to specify the bomb. Asking a usage and uh, something, right? Uh, we'll be the one and the one. Is it? It's still yellow light, and uh, we need to do something. Uh, consistency check. Not sure what it means. Right, it's now green light, and we're gonna save it. One more. Uh, is there one? Is the finished finished product? Okay, what's the number? Uh, what about it? So yellow lights need a consistency check. Don't know the meaning. Yes, now it's green. Okay, now save. So this is the production version. Let us check the. Well, this hasn't changed a bit. Let's check the. Until you master. Now it has a version indicator here. Yeah? You see what we created? Yeah. Oh, oh, we can also check it here. Uh, the details. Same thing. And the costing. You also see the same thing here. Version indicator, yes, the same thing. Oh, 
Okay. Let's forget it about uh, another material, but uh, okay, for MOP wise, this is what we require, what is required, and uh, MOP wise, we can run the MOP, and uh, as a accountant, you have to know this functionality, and uh, product cost planning. And uh, must mix ratio, mix cost estimate. It's it's not a mandatory. You won't need it, but uh, it, it will help you. Okay, we want to fill in this mixing ratio because in the future you have a lot of production version with a lot of different version routing uh, bombs. Okay, you're gonna use which one for costing? You don't know, and we want to assign the mix uh, mixing ratio here, but before. We need the uh, setting here. I have created this quantity structure yesterday, and uh, we need to show you this one. But in fact, uh, we also need to first create a procurement alternatives. Uh, let uh, let us see the quantity structure first. It's under controlling, product cost controlling planning and the uh, specific selected function yes mixed ratio mixed costing and uh, this one only displays the existing ones the, the P is, is something I have created yesterday and uh, so basically, you create new entries, and what is what these are? Without uh, creating this configuration, you cannot uh, input the uh, mixing ratio. And one means year dependent. I think the cost estimate you only have once a year. No time depending. Not sure if it's a good idea. And I just created this one. You, of course, you can create. As your requirement percentage validation, if it, it, it checks if it is 100%. Uh, yes, of course. I want to check it. This is a description I created. This right and okay to create the uh, to input the uh, mixing ratio. Yes, first we have to create the quantity structure, this one, uh, of course you, you cannot uh, input without specifying. This is what I have created, and it is a uh, year dependent, so we have to specify a year. Still. No procurement alternatives exist for material, so we need to first create a procurement alternative. What is procurement alternative? This is it. And uh, just create it, or first change it to change mode. Create, and we have to ch select the production version. Production. Then it asks uh, production version, and this is something we have just created. Yes, this is it. Confirm. Now it created. Save. One more. Create 
process category don't select the wrong one you have to select the production or production version and so this is uh, material by material this is also the same thing this happened to be the same thing okay confirm now it's here save so this is uh, procurement alternative now we can enter the percentage here hmm not sure about this date uh, quantity structure date whatever the date comes i selected the uh, first of the this year and it should be 100 percent if there's another production version you can specify okay 20 percent is on this production version another remaining 80 percent is this production but this kind of uh, usage and uh, I think we just save it. Because we only have a production, only one production version as of now. But you know how to use this now. In the actual environment, uh, environment this is important. So I'm uh, introducing it here. Um, if you do the cost estimate, I have already finished the estimates and I cannot show it right now. But now you know the functionality. And uh, this is just uh, additional information. Uh, I'll show you these table names. And the uh, production version is. Sorry, uh, there's no mistakes. Like this. You see? And, You know what this is. You recognize these materials. Uh, document uh, category. This is the production version. You cannot uh, screw up. You have to select the production version here. Right. And one more is. Okay, so this is about it. Thanks for watching.